Welcome to Mega Top 10s. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 mythical creatures that may have existed. Uh, probably not. Number 10, Hobbits. A three-foot skeleton with a skull one-third the size of a human was dug up in a limestone cave in Flores, Indonesia. Researchers found bones from nine different skeletons, with the youngest dating back 12,000 years. They also found tools and other signs of a civilized society. Critics claim that these hobbits are simply humans who suffered from a growth-inhibiting condition, but other scientists believe that they're a separate species. Indonesia has many active volcanoes, which would be perfect for destroying a certain magical ring. Number 9. Dragons What inspired stories of dragons still remains a mystery. We know for certain that man and dinosaur never met. But there was once a beast called the Megalania, an ancient relative of the Komodo dragon. This massive, lizard-like creature terrorized the aboriginals of Australia. It grew up to 8 meters long and weighed 2 tons. It may have been the source of some stories about dragons, but unfortunately, it did not breathe fire. Instead, its poisonous saliva contained a blood thinner that caused victims to bleed to death instead. Number 8. Kraken The myth of the Kraken is believed to have been inspired by a real giant squid. Although female giant squids can grow to very large sizes, around 40 feet in length, they still don't possess the power to tear apart an entire ship. But recently, a colossal squid was discovered in the Southern Ocean. It's estimated to be 15 meters in length, and its beak and eyes are larger than that of a giant squid. Its limbs were lined with sharp hooks, some that swivel and others that had three points, large enough to damage a boat. Number 7. Amazon Women The Amazons were believed to have been a nation of all female warriors in Greek mythology. Greek historian Herodotus wrote about the Amazons, claiming that they were captured, overcame their captors, became shipwrecked, and then ended up on the Eurasian steppe where they fought the Scythians. The dwindling Amazons eventually agreed to intermarry with the Scythians, as long as their daughters were allowed to continue the proud tradition of the woman warriors. Graves dug up in the Eurasian steppe revealed that most Scythian women had battle-damaged bones and were buried with weapons. Number 6. Scylla and Charybdis During Odysseus's voyage, he had to steer his ship through a narrow strait that had dangers on both sides. On one side was Scylla, a beast with many heads that could grab crew from the deck. On the other side was Charybdis, a sea monster that sucked ships to the bottom of the ocean using a whirlpool. The Straits of Messina run between Sicily and the Italian mainland, where Scylla and Charybdis apparently lived. Charybdis is an actual whirlpool, but no creature lives inside. The heads of Scylla were apparently inspired by the rocky shoals on the other side of the strait. Number 5. Dire Wolf The Dire Wolf has appeared in many role-playing games and TV series, such as The Game of Thrones. In reality, direwolves existed alongside early man in the Pleistocene Age. They were much larger than the average wolf, stronger, and had larger teeth. But when the megafauna started to go extinct, direwolves lost their main source of food. They were too slow to hunt the smaller animals that modern grey wolves feasted upon. They were forced to become lowly scavengers, and shortly after became extinct. Number 4. Berserkers Berserkers aren't just a character build from Skyrim. They first appeared in Old Norse poems. These poems mention their supernatural strength and invulnerability. As it's usually the case with most legendary battle tales, surely these stories had been greatly exaggerated. Berserkers achieved their frenzy by chasing a dragon of a different kind. They took intoxicating hallucinogens before battle. This dulled their senses and made them more fearless. Scientists have discovered that the drug bufotenine is capable of replicating the berserker rage. Number 3. Giant Centipede In Japanese mythology, a giant centipede was harassing the kingdom of Raijin. But giant centipedes did actually exist. 
Arthroplora was the largest invertebrate species ever uncovered. It lived from the Carboniferous to the early Permian period. It grew up to three meters long and lived in what is now North America and Scotland around 300 million years ago. Amazingly, it was a vegetarian. Its huge size was partly because of the greater partial pressure of oxygen in Earth's atmosphere at that time. Number two, Moby Dick. Yeah, ha ha. Not only was Moby Dick inspired by an actual giant sperm whale, but the real one was even more terrifying. His name was Mocha Dick, as he inhabited the seas near the island of Mocha. He battled against a hundred whaling ships, sending most of them in splinters to the bottom of the ocean. Captain Ahab was inspired by a real man named Captain Pollard. But unlike Ahab, Pollard didn't seek revenge or resort to cannibalism after his ship was destroyed by a whale. He went back out to sea in a new ship, but it was destroyed by a storm. He spent his remaining years as a night watchman. And number one, Emuji. Korean legends speak of Emuji, creatures that had to survive for a thousand years before they could ascend to heaven. In heaven, they became real dragons. Although it existed in South America, there was a python of such gigantic proportions that it could have been mistaken for a young dragon. The Titanoboa was roughly 15 meters in length and weighed over a ton. It constricted at a crushing force of 400 psi and could swallow a human whole. But they went extinct a long time ago. Whether they ascended and evolved into real dragons is a mystery. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to be dramatic. Thank you for watching Mega Top 10s. Please subscribe and share this video. Goodbye.